Hey YouTubers and Pokemon fans, welcome back to the Pokemaster Slayer YouTube channel and today I have an updated version of my Rayquaza EX list and expanded format and let's get into it. This deck is very much more destructive than my other one. Trust me when I say that. So we're doing colorless Rayquaza again and I run three copies of the intensifying burn one, the colorless one has 170 HP for one colorless energy. Intensifying burn does 10 damage, and then if your opponent's Pokemon is an active EX, basically if your opponent's Pokemon is an EX, you do 50 more damage. So intensifying burn does 60 damage if you're going against an EX deck, which is good because there's still Volcanion EX everywhere, and it's starting to get more popular. And then for Three colorless energies, Dragon Pulse does 100 damage, and then discard the top three cards of your deck. It's just there, just in case you actually need to attack and go for game. This attack has won me game, so don't be scared to use it. And yeah, three copies of the colorless one. And then, of course, the main thing you want to get to immediately is Mega Snake EX. The lizard, evil snake, weird, creepy looking thing. With its Delta Evolution to where it can evolve every, like, it's, this is what it ha it's ancient trait allows you, even if it's your first turn, you could straight evolve it if you want. It breaks the rules. You can evolve whenever you want if you have a Rayquaza out. You just, yeah, it's broken. Evolve whenever you want. And then for a DC in, or three color synergies, Emerald Break, the attack we're going to be trying to boost up, it does. 30 more damage for every single bench Pokemon, and we have ways to boost that once again. And it has one retreat cost. And yeah, that's three copies of Mega Rayquaza. Then I run four copies of Shaman EX with the setup ability. Because, you know, we need to be able to get our Pokemon, our bench filled up. One out party man. He gets the party out. He starts the party. He sets it up and everything. One copy of Hoopa EX. One Keldeo. With the Russian ability, so we have free retreat. Just get a float stone on it, and you have free retreat forever, literally. And now I run one Magirna. I, the reason why I run Magirna is because it prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks, except for damage done to your Pokemon. It has still energy attached to it. Existing effects are not removed. So basically, if your opponent attacks, so this shuts off like Seismitoad, Giratina. Shuts off all sorts of things. But, yeah. Gets rid of those special conditions. Like, if your opponent... Like, for instance, if you're being attacked and your opponent's Pokemon says you get poisoned, you won't get poisoned. So, yeah. Very good. And I run one Tapulele GX so you can search your deck for any supporter you want. And I run two Promagation Executes from Plasma Freeze to where we have... We could keep pulling stuff out of our discard pile. Our Ultra Balls and computer searches are one or two less cheaper. Basically free Ultra Ball and stuff. And that's our Pokemon lineup. On to supporters. Our supporter line is quite wacky. I've been testing it out like this. And it's done surprisingly well. I run one Colrus. You could draw up to 13 to 10 cards off Colrus sometimes. Depending on how your opponent plays. But Colrus is so broken. And then I run one Professor Juniper, because you know what? I like to go original since we're in an expanded format. Same as same as Professor Sycamore. One Lysander, so we could get out our opponent's Pokemon. You see this, guys? It's Lysander, not Guzma. And then I run one Karen to where if our like if someone parallel parallel cities us to where our bench isn't down to three. Once we get that stadium out of there, we Karen back in our basically our shamans and hoopas. Or whatever else we discard it back into our deck to where we could re repair our bench. And then I run one AZ so we could pick up our Hoopa or Shamans. One Pokemon Ranger just in case we do run into Seismitoad or Giratina. Because honestly you don't want to get stuck with uh, item lock or discarding energies. You can't attach energies, can't attach item cards, can't play stadiums. It kind of sucks. And then I run one Hex Maniac. Mainly for Giratina and Buzzwool Gar because I don't want to be ability locked. I don't honestly abilities don't affect me that much. We just have to build build up our bench. As long as we go first turn against the Buzzwool Garb, we're good. But if not, we gotta be able to hex maniac and just do hardcore setup. But yeah, run this is our supporter lineup. 
onto items. Our item list is very thick. All right, and let's get into it. We're on four copies of Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck and pick any trainer card you want out of there except for Trainer's Mail. And then I run four copies of cell phones to get back our supporters. Because we only run one ofs in this deck, and so we do need our supporters back. Run four copies of Ultra Ball. Here's the good thing about Execute. This Execute, if it's in your discard pile, you can put it back into your hand whenever you want. And then you go basically Ultra Ball. It's basically Ultra Ball food. And since if you get both of them in your discard pile, it's basically a free Ultra Ball. Unless you want to discard stuff out of your hand, like energy and stuff. Now run four copies of Puzzle Time. This card is so broken, especially in late game. Because if you play two of them, you can get two cards you want out of your discard pile. If you only play one, you're you're having a bad day. Let's just say if you play one, you're having a bad day. If you play one, you look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Which, why would you want to do that when we have so many shamans in here? And we just bench it and draw that many cards. But, yeah. The main idea is to play double puzzle and get back any two cards you want. You can get back computer searches, VS Seekers, whatever you want. doesn't matter. Now I run three copies of Requaza Spirit Link so we can evolve and not pass our turn, especially if you're going first. And I run three copies of Mega Turbo to where we can attach a basic energy card out of our Discord pile and onto one of our Requazas. I run two Battle Compressors. I wish this could be three. You could take out and execute, make it a third one if you want. It's your choice. Or you could take out a Trainer's Mill and put in a third one. Yeah, it would be better if you take out a Trainer's Mill and put in the third one. Keep, the keep both of the executes, but yeah. And then I run two copies of Floatstone for the Keldeo EX and for Magirna. Basically anything that needs retreat. But most of the time it's for Keldeo, so we can have that infinite retreat. We run two copies just in case our opponent field blowers it away. And then I run one computer search where we can discard two cards we want out of our hand and search your deck for anything we want. Once again, double promulgate and then discard the two executes with the computer search. It works so nice. On to stadiums, run three copies of Skyfield. I would like to run four, but I just didn't have the room. I and honestly, three is just right because as fast as this deck goes, you're like, uh, they're all stuck in my hand. What am I doing? This sucks. But yeah, on to and our energy count is very low. We run four copies of DCEs and then three basic metal energies. So so our Magirna's ability will work. So yeah, guys, this is the updated deck list. And once again, as always, y'all stay amazing and have a wonderful day. And this is the Poke Master Slayer signing off. <laughs>